David, first of all, welcome to Feyenoord. How does it feel to finally wear the red and white jersey? Yeah, for uh, for the first, thank you very much. I'm, I'm really like to to be here, to be here already, and uh, uh, yeah, finally it was a it was a long uh, long days and long weeks to to trying to to get me here, and uh, now finally I'm here, so so that's perfect for me. Can you tell us um, more about the talks you and the club had about your move to Feyenoord? Yeah, it uh, even started before the our preseason, so. Uh, it's like uh, now eight, nine weeks that uh, we are trying to to talk with uh, with Feyenoord and with Sparta, uh, but it was not so easy because they they want to to keep me. But uh, then I uh, I feel that uh, this is the this is the right option and right step in my career, and uh, that decided that uh, I I told also the Sparta that I think it's the right time and uh, also like the. Um, with me and my agent, also also the family, the the other option uh, we didn't consider. We trying to to only get me here because uh, I feel that uh, this is the this is the best for me, uh, and now I have the, the the chance and possibility to 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 show everybody that uh, that was the right step. Um, you also told us that you and Robert Bosnik are good friends. Yeah. Um, did you spoke to him about Feyenoord and what did he say? Uh, yeah, I know him from I don't know 15, 15 years old. We we live together in the academy of Emesh Kajlina, so uh, I know him a uh, long time. And also now in the national team, uh, like we are always together. Uh, um, sometimes we are we are living uh, in in same room if it's uh, needed, and uh, also we, we spend a lot a lot of time with uh, together. And uh, I speak with him yesterday when I when I arrive and. Um, uh, he always told me about the about the club and uh, how how it's uh, working here and uh, also about the fans and stadium and uh, and the city. So that uh, he speaks only only positive about the uh, Feyenoord and Rotterdam. So uh, that was also the little bit uh, much easier for me because I I know he he feels great here. It's uh, very nice to hear. Um, can you describe yourself as a defender uh, and tell the Feyenoord fans what they can expect from you on the pitch? <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit difficult because uh, I would love to that uh, my performance will will show it and uh, and speak about it. Uh, and then now here in the in the chair in front of of camera, but if I can, that uh, I'm a, I'm a left-footed uh, mainly mainly centre back. I I play some matches also like left back uh, in club, but uh, and, and national team. But I think the the our, our my main main position is. Is centre back, so I'm left-footed. I'm like how I've been raised is uh, to play with the ball and uh, and uh, and try to try to keep uh, opponent from the press and and help to to our midfielders to to get the right ball to to attack. But of course, yes, I I know that uh, the main. Uh, Main uh, target for me will be to to concede as as as, uh, as low as possible the, the the conceded goals, so that I will be trying to to also defend very well because I know that if we are attacking a lot, then uh, we are in lower players behind. So uh, I think also with my my speed to to long distance, I can I can cover it. But how I said I want to to show it on the on the pitch and uh, hopefully I will. I will get the chance and I will be healthy and and uh, that's the like the main main targets for me. Uh, Feyenoord played four matches against the rival of Sparta Prague last season. Did you see those matches? Yeah, I, I saw them also. Also, the our coaches when uh, when we had a meeting, they they show us how Feyenoord uh, played against uh, against them and 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 they, they were trying to show us some uh, some possibilities how we can. Uh, um, Get through them, and we play four games against them also last year, and we we won a three, so so it was it was a good one. But what uh, we didn't achieve what we what we won. But yeah, I saw the Feyenoord matches, and also now in uh, in preseason and uh, also last game, I I was able to to after our training to to watch them because I know about the interest of Feyenoord. So uh, I saw some games, and also I watched uh, the last season final. A new club also means a new city. Um, what is your first impression of Rotterdam? 
yeah, for now it's uh, only this beautiful training center and uh, and hotel uh, and hospital. So this is only three things uh, I already see. But when we when we traveled, I I, I saw that it's a nice modern city and uh, and I like it. I, I live in Prague. There is more like old city center and also one year in Florence. So now I'm I'm really happy to to change it a little bit and uh, and. Uh, yeah, I can't wait to, to be here with my family and uh, start living here and settle down and, and uh, I, I hope it will be perfect. Um, will any family members join you here in Rotterdam? Yeah, hopefully. Hopefully uh, my wife can uh, come next week and uh, also two months ago uh, we had a baby. So our son and my wife, hopefully they will come as soon as possible because I know if they are near me and then I can perform very well. With a father uh, being a football player and a mother being a tennis player, yeah. um, what will Adamko, your son, uh, be when he's growing up? Uh, we don't know. We, we we want to to that he will he will like a sport, and uh, yeah, it will be about Adam what uh, what he will choose. But uh, yeah, I want maybe a little bit more the tennis because I, I like tennis. I like the play tennis and watch the. Also, trainings of my wife. Now it's not possible because uh, she's not playing for now. But uh, hopefully, also here in in Rotterdam, she will get the chance to to train and maybe come back for uh, for maybe one two years. Uh, I wanna wanna support in this uh, decision her because uh, I know uh, she's missing uh, tennis a lot. And uh, our son, she wants uh, the my wife wants uh, to play football. I want tennis, so <laughs> <laughs> we will see. But uh, now the the healthy and his uh, how he will grow up, uh, we can uh, can be more happy that what we, what we experienced these two months already. Of course, um, you have already played several matches for Sparta Prague this season. Are you 100% fit and ready to play for Feyenoord? Yeah, uh, this I think uh, good. Because uh, I was not uh, so like that uh, uh, the talks were so long that uh, I, I missed the preseason here and uh, and also also first matches. So I know it's it's better when you are from the start with the team. But on the other side, I, I had a good preseason in in Prague and uh, in in training camp and also I play I play now five matches from in the in the start of the season. So so yeah, I'm I'm ready and uh, can't wait to to start to to train with the team. The season here has just begun and there's still everything to play for. Uh, what are your expectations and personal goals for this season? So, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's difficult, but yeah, I want to, want to see Feyenoord on the, on the highest places I can. Uh, also in, the, in the Europe, I, I, I watched the, the, the great run to, through the Europe last year and I, I think that uh, also like there is now a lot of new guys. But uh, what I feel uh, from, from this uh, First feelings that uh, here is a great team and uh, and for me this is the most important and and uh, if I'm if I'm uh, like settled down and, and feel feel very good in the team then uh, I know that I can perform well so hopefully my my targets now are to to train every day uh, in a hard way to to try to to learn so much from the coaches and teammates uh, what's the style of the play how we want to play. And uh, and then yeah, in the end of the week to to perform well in front of our fans and uh, and trying to to winning uh, every match and uh, hopefully get healthy every every the, every week and uh, like this is this is the main for me to, for now. We also have a welcome gift for you. Yeah, it's the new away kit. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, it looks very nice. You will play with number 33 on the back. Yeah. Um, does it mean something special to you? Yeah, I uh, I had it before uh, in Zilina in, in uh, Fiorentina I had 16, but when I when I came to to Sparta I, I chose 33 and uh, then I I feel that I, I played very well in this and I had like my my biggest uh, three season in my career and uh, and also like when I when I look at it I like it it's I think it's uh, good for for defender and also like there were some option here but. Uh, I know that it's it's free, and uh, I asked the, the coach and the team manager if I can have it, and they told me that yeah, if it's important for me. So also that's very nice from the club that they, they love it, and and hopefully 
I can uh, I can perform well in this number. Our fans can't wait to see you on the pitch. Um, do you have a message for them? At last. Yeah, I want uh, to to thank you all because like these nine weeks when the in the in the media some stuff gets leaked and uh, and it was known that uh, Feyenoord it's uh, it's targeting for me and uh, a lot of fans fans already write me some messages and and some some stuff to 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 get here and uh, and yeah that's that's a, that's a very nice to welcome and. Uh, and it's perfect, and hopefully I can I can pay it on the pitch for the fans, and uh, that they will be every week uh, happy that uh, we we as a team play very well, and also that uh, I can I can perform, and they will be they will be happy for me. And uh, yeah, it was a little bit tough to to end in Sparta for me because uh, also with the with the guys in the team and also with the fans I had really really strong bond. And uh, and hopefully I can I can um, I can have it also here uh, because uh, because I like it that way. But I know that I need to earn it on the on the pitch, and that's that's for me the most important to to train and uh, and show in uh, in the end of the week that I'm ready to to be here and and uh, help the help the team and the whole club. So yeah, again, thank you very much.